Hey guys, it is Bob. Welcome back once again to Modern Life for the 70s Mind. How's it going? I hope you guys are having a good day. Yesterday, I reacted to a Norwegian artist, Astrid S. So we're going to stay in Norway today, and we're going to listen to Sigrid. And I've reacted to, oh man, a good number of songs that were seven, eight, nine, something like that. And everyone has just been wonderful. And she's really all over the board when she sings. There's no... You don't you don't start listening to a cigarette song and know right away what it's going to sound like because she really does mix it up and change things up from something really poppy to stuff a little more serious and it's just really a wonderful artist to listen to just because of all the variety that she sings now this song is called ghost now this isn't a video it's the official audio and i tried to i kind of just picked one and all i could find was an audio there was no video for this song so I don't know if that's good or bad, but I'm just going to go with it, if that's okay with you guys. So let's turn this on, and uh, let's listen to Sigrid and see what this is all about. Here we go. I don't mean to get so sentimental. Oof. And I know it, but I can't help it. Oh, I'm already liking this. Want you to be just like the architecture of the person I'm fading my mind. So why'd you have to go and leave the door just a little bit open? Wherever you go. Okay, I gotta stop it here. I will back it up because these songs, I swear, are getting shorter and shorter. Either that or I'm just getting so into the song, I'm not keeping track of where I'm at. So, ah, this is amazing. I don't know if you guys, you know, there's two ways to listen to a song. You can just listen to it and get the overall melody and the feel for the song. But then you can listen to it and really pay attention to how the artist is singing the words and everything and she is just nailing this Ugh. this sound overall sound of this song reminds me so much of an earlier song of hers that i reacted to that to this day is my favorite song of hers and it's called home to you it has that same feeling it that same sound you know the range and the tempo and everything that she's singing here just really highlights that amazing and beautifully captivating raspiness of her voice. I was running out of words there. I had to, had to, had to close that thing off. Um, <laughs> you know, that raspy texture that she has just adds a ton of depth and personality to her voice. Just love it. This is exactly the sound that 
the sound and feel of her voice that I just fell in love with. Now, regarding the lyrics, she seems to be reflecting. I wish there were captions on this, but there's not. Maybe I should have tried to pick a lyric video or something, but oh well. She seems to be reflecting on a breakup and maybe even lingering emotions that go along with that, like longing and nostalgia, all those feelings that I'm sure we're all familiar with at one point in our life. It's like their time together continues to haunt her. Thus, ghosts. <laughs> there we go. We tied it all together. There we go. Um, all right, let's play this to the end, and uh, we'll talk some more. Here we go. This is exactly the sound of hers. Like I've already said, that I just, I just love. She hit that uh, really raspy section at the end. That was just nuts. I loved it. Wow, it's been a while since I reacted to Cigarette, and I forgot how incredible of a singer that she really is. So she kind of finishes the song by deciding to move forward and maybe not dwell so much on the past and all the feelings that are associated with that. It's almost like a sense of empowerment or independence kind of takes over her. So that's, I like the way that finished. For each of us, that's, um, it's that resilience and I guess determination that allows us to move forward in life and get past things that may be otherwise holding us back. And again, really powerful message that I think a lot of people should really pay attention to because a lot of people that I know have a hard time moving forward with things when they really should try. This was such a uh, beautifully sung song and just another one of those moments where I think Sigrid just really shined. This was exactly the cigarette that i probably like the most so all right let me get my headphones off and i'll be back for some positive final thoughts hold on we are back for final thoughts do you guys like it i obviously i loved it it just she happened to find and i wasn't expecting it she happened to find that lane of the type of music of hers that i just love the most and what a pleasant surprise to hear her sing something like this Obviously, Ghost was a good title for this. Throughout the song, she grapples with memories that continue to haunt her like a ghost. There you go. Um, the melody had these haunting and kind of melancholic tones that perfectly complemented the overall lyrical theme of the song. They were really just well matched. It's not too often you can get a lyric and the music that just perfectly complement each other. And I think that's what happened here. Now, regarding the lyrics, despite her pain that we definitely heard and felt, especially during those beautiful, raspy parts of the song, I think we kind of walk away from the song with a sense of resilience and ultimately finding, what's the word, empowerment in letting go. And that's kind of a fun and important message. This was another one of those songs that clearly addresses love and loss. I seem to be running across a lot of those lately. And that obviously resonates with a lot of listeners. Maybe that's why artists keep putting songs out that address that exact same subject. 
And for her to take this subject and to present it in a way that only Sigrid can do, and I mean that when I say that, really makes this such a powerful delivery and just a beautiful song. Sigrid, her voice is captivating. It's raw. And do I need to say it again? <laughs> Beautifully raspy. Just love it. And I'll, all that and take all that to putting that together. And I just think it leaves us listeners with a lasting impression of this really wonderful song. I can't let this much time pass uh, before my next reaction to another Sigrid song. She's just that good. I obviously need to hear more from her. I don't know if she's put out anything really recent. I think this is several years old, but uh, I'll check it out and see if she's put out anything new. So, okay, guys, did you enjoy that? I really hope you did because I did a lot. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. And if you would click that notification bell, you know what to do. Anyways, listen, only life is priceless. Make each day count. God bless all of you. Peace out. Talk to you next time. Bye-bye.